And we were amazed at the stories that were there, even the small little stories, um, you know, some about, about meeting Tom Barry at Kilmichael Lambush years later and somebody asking, would you like to take the gun because they were out shooting? And Tom Barry said, no, um, I, don't want, I don't want to have anything to do with guns anymore. Small little stories like that, but they all add, add to it. And of course, our school, uh, the children came, came to school the day afterwards some of them, very few of them, but some of them. You have some evidence of this, do you? That's right. The school roll book from 1920 shows the school was open on the day after with a small number of children. The day after, the Tuesday, uh, slightly more, and then it closed for a week and a half. And you can see that in the roll book. So that roll book is still in Drawmey National School. Was that the fear in the community? Absolutely. They were afraid because they, to travel to Drawmey, they had to cross the main road. That was the road from Macroom where the auxiliaries and were travelling. And we do know of stories of where they were shot at in fields. So it was just out of fear. So that's where they sh- shut up. It, it, uh, and also some of the things like uh, mattresses and things were stored in the school because people were afraid of reprisals. There were, there were um, houses burnt down. The house across the school was burnt down. So they knew that they wouldn't burn the government building. So it was very important that they store stuff there. And so for the, the, the children, the, the students who are in this school and that evidence is there, sure it's fantastic for them. They couldn't but be interested in history. Absolutely. And I think that they are. And ever so often we'd take out the, the road books and they'd look at them and see the names of some of them, their ancestors. Yeah. And there are some descendants of people from 1920 in Drumley National School. Which what is do brilliant. you think of the book? I'm absolutely thrilled with it. They made a, a brilliant job and I'm really proud that me and the children of Dromley had some part in it and it's going to live on forever, I think, really.